Welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Bible Study. This is Bible Study episode 53. Today we're going to be diving into Acts chapter 1 verses 12 through 26. So we're going to be talking about Judas being replaced. To begin, we're going to start off with a prayer by me. We're going to be led by me today. And the end of the prayer will be done by me. So if you guys can, please bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. I rejoice and be glad in God. We praise God as we came together to be able to discuss your word. God, we pray that you shall have your way, God. We pray that you'll be able to speak to us through this day, God. We pray that we'll be able to have a great understanding of your word, God, and continue to learn and continue to dig deeper into your word, God. I pray for that audience, God. I pray that that audience will be able to understand and to learn your word, God, as I'm trying to do it, God. We praise you. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name, your heavenly name, amen. Now we begin into the scripture for today, Matthew chapter 1, verses 12 through 26. Matthias replaces Judas. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the Mount of Olives, a distance of half a mile. When they arrived, they went to the upstairs room of the house where they were staying. Here are the names of those who were present. Peter, John, James, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew. James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, the zealot, and Judas, son of James. They all met together and were constantly united in prayer, along with Mary, the mother of Jesus, several other women, and the brothers of Jesus. Here we can see after Matt, uh, after Jesus ascended into heaven and uh, his disciple, along with his mother, brothers, and several women came together. During this time, when about 120 believers were together in one place, Peter stood up and addressed them. Brothers, he said, the scriptures had to be fulfilled concerning Judas, who guided those who arrested Jesus. This was predicted long ago by the Holy Spirit, speaking through King David. And this is a very important scripture, verses 16, because everything happens for a reason. Judas was supposed to betray Jesus in order for Jesus to fulfill his promise to the world for dying on the cross for our sins. Even though it was a bad act done by Judas, it was all for the greatness of God. It was all um, purposeful, and the scripture predicted that it was going to happen a long time ago. Judas was one of us and shared in the ministry with us. Judas had bought a field with the money he received for his treachery. Falling headfirst there, his body split open, spilling out all his intestines. The news of his death spread to all the people of Jerusalem, and they gave the place the Aramaic name Akeldama, which means field of blood. The field that Judas bought after receiving money from his treasury was renamed Akeldami, um, which means the field of blood after he died on it. Peter continued. This was written in the book of Psalms, where it says, Let his home become desolate, with no one living in it. It also says, Let someone else take his position. So now we must choose a replacement for Judas. From among the men who were with us the entire time we were traveling with the Lord Jesus, from the time he was baptized by John until the day he was taken from us, Whoever is chosen will join us as a witness of Jesus' resurrection. So they nominated two men, Joseph called Barsabbas, also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they all prayed, O Lord, you know every heart. Show us which of these men you have chosen as an apostle to replace Judas in this ministry, for he has deserted us and gone where he belongs. Then they cast lots, and Matthias was selected to become an apostle with the other eleven. And this is the completion of the reading of the word for today. Here we see in these verses that Jesus' disciple, along with his brother, his mother, and some other women, they came together to be able to discuss the replacement of Judas and talked about how Jesus bought Phil with the money that he made from giving Jesus to the Pharisee and the land the field that he bought was renamed the meaning of it is the field of blood and also in the scripture it mentioned that all of this was supposed to happen because it was written in the word even though Judas performed a bad act all of it came back to help us and all for the blessing and the 
the glory of God. My guys, we're going to begin into our closing prayer for today. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, God. We pray that you continue to be with us each and every single day, God. We pray that today as we are able to go over your word, God. We pray that your hands will bless the comfortable word, God. We pray that we continue to learn more about you each and every single day, God. So, Heavenly Father, you are holy, God. You are worthy, God. You are Jehovah Jireh, God. And all the people shall say, Amen. This is it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for coming back to another episode of Bible Study. This is Bible Study episode 53. We'll be back next week with Bible Study episode 54. If you haven't already, please like, turn on your post notifications, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Bye.